Okay, in this video we will be looking at the Mupin 64 Alpha, uh, looking at the JIT version. Uh, I did try both a little bit. The interpreted one seems to work the same, it's just, as it says in the form, it's slower. So I'm just going to focus on the, uh, the JIT one, since it would run faster. Um, uh, first one is City Kong. This one, uh, we can't really do too much with because there's... Uh, there's bugs with the polygons in, in both uh, the JIT and the interpreted one. Uh, but I'll show it to you just to get an idea. That blurriness is my crappy filming setup, not the game. So here the sound is fine, but... I guess the frame rate might be good, I don't know, but polygons are um, not working. And this uh, weird polygon stuff is throughout, before I did take it through all the way to like a full race to see if it you know persisted all the way over, and it, it does, so I'm actually going to cancel it, but the 2D parts actually work as far as the menus go and whatever. So, anyways. Cancel out of that. Um, next one is Star Fox. This one is actually runs well when there's no much audio playing. I think the audio processing slows it down and again, I've learned this is just because I don't make films. I I just play games, actually. Let me see here. It's going to take a few minutes to get through this scene here. Because, uh... I'm not really sure how to skip it. I mean, actually, I think I saw it crash on here once, but um, I could be lying about that. But, once it gets through, it's... Oh yeah, I can't skip it because the start button is not actually start, it's A. Also, unfortunately for Star Fox, uh, the shoulder buttons are also just not, they're not mapped. It would be great if, I guess, if the L button were mapped to Z and R was mapped to R. I think that would make sense, but right now they're not mapped on this build. <laughs> So they're going to do their little talking thing. As long as they're talking and doing this little intro, the performance is slow. But, surprisingly, when they are done doing this little uh, scene, they, uh, the game actually plays pretty smoothly, and the only thing left is just weird graphic artifacts. Uh, I guess I forgot to mention as well, the text texture on this is not right. Now, it could be the ROM, because it's pretty consistently like the N is mixed up with M. Um, so it could be the ROM, I'm not sure. Like Tlippy, you know. I have not tested a different emulator, but... Okay, so we're going to go from this 2 FPS to actual playable FPS, surprisingly. So at this point, the game is actually quite playable. A little slow there, but... Currently not super Star Fox friendly, because, you know, you would expect to have the shoulder buttons to help deflect some of these... Uh, shots here.
Anyways, you get the idea. So let me exit out of this one. <clears throat> okay, so Mario 64. This one, I would expect, you know, its internal programming to be hopefully the simplest because it's not using anything like the expansion pack or anything, I guess. That's first, the first game on the system. Um, this is another one where it's playable, but the audio is what's laggy, actually. Can't find a good angle for you, but... Wish I had a better focus. This will help it do it. Not really. Okay, so once they get through their intro, the game runs pretty good. A little slow. I can only tell because, you know, as a kid I've played it so much that I've memorized how exactly how it works. Again, Z button I don't think is mapped. Let me see if I can... Is Z button mapped? Is that R or Z? I can't tell. Yeah, I don't think Z is mapped. I know the form says it is, but... I think actually, oh there it is, that must be mapped, yeah. Yeah, okay. Got it. <laughs> I'm playing this one out because I had crashed it at one point, I thought, maybe I hit the select button to exit it. But I thought I had crashed it, maybe not. Actually, of all the ones I've tried so far, that's actually the most playable. It does not look, again, this blurry in real life. I just don't know how to make good videos. Okay. Focus. A little more laggier on this level. And again, the bi the biggest victim of the emulation really is just the audio, I think. I would imagine that um, it's even contributing to the frame drops here. Oof. Now it's ungoofed. I don't think there's a button for grabbing, is there? Oh, there, well, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's just go find out. Yeah, buddy. Let's see, how would I make him? That would grab. That B button would grab, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yeah. 
Yeah, take that. Anyway, you get it. I want to cut it off at this point, but that's Mario 64. And I'm at 10 minutes, so let me just go ahead and hurry up here. The next one, if I can get it to focus, is Smash Brothers. <clears throat> Smash Brothers, uh, the 2D stuff works really well. Um, the fight himself, the fight is, scenes are slowed down. A little bit. And there's some graphical glitches. I noticed before I saw a glitch with. Hold on, let me actually even do training. I saw a glitch with Pikachu. Uh, let's see here. Two. Yeah, Pikachu, uh, <laughs> uh, his eyes don't come through. And the audio is still the weak link. Uh, where's the, uh, here we go. But, you know, it's kind of like just playing in slow motion. Yeah, his, uh, his eyes are definitely not there. Kind of weird, because Kirby's eyes are there, and I assume they're just sprites too, but... Who knows. Actually. Oh, I can't get the camera in training mode. I don't have R button to switch the camera, but yeah, he has no eyes. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so this game uh, probably too slow for gameplay. Mmm. But it's nice to see some of that on a hand. Oh, definitely got a crash now. Uh. Yeah, it's a freeze. But not really a crash, because as soon as I press select, it will actually exit, so I press it right now. It exits right away, so I assume it's not totally a crash that way. Alright, last one. Yoshi's Story. This actually is also a com unplayable due to uh, the polygons don't show up. I actually assume this one would be one of the better ones to play, because it's 2D. Um, well, it uses 2D sprites a lot. And I saw on the forum someone was already testing out Paper Mario. It doesn't quite work though. I think I can get into a level if I guess the buttons because they're not visible here. Uh, let me get closer in. Yeah. So I was going to keep pressing A and seeing what happens. So a little Yoshi sprite shows up, which ruins my childhood a little bit. I for some reason thought he was rendered. He's uh, he's not rendered. He is a sprite. But the rest of the level is uh, not here. I wish I could get that blur to go away. Uh, but anyway, whatever. The 2D foreground stuff is working, but you know their paper book whatever thing is not working. That is all the titles I have, have available. So that is the current status of the uh, N64 emulator.